Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a huge manly box. It's a whopper. I mentioned the other day, I've got lots of birthdays coming up. There's lots of birthdays in our family. Father's Day isn't until June, so kind of, you know, I'm not gonna talk about that, but yeah, there's lots of birthdays coming up. I would strongly suggest not allowing small kittens to sit on these because they squish them especially when you're leaving them in your office. So it's a box that has a perfect closure. It's a box with a lid. I might need to modify this and put little handy holder doodah thingies in it um, because it is such a perfect fit. Can't get it off. Can't get the lid off. <laughs> totally gonna have to modify it. There we go. So you may have seen my version of this before because the inside folds completely flat for storage. You can make the top in exactly the same way so that it too falls flat with storage. I've got a video on that, but basically you'd make the top exactly the same way. Put your goodies in there and then slide on the lid and that will form the perfect fit. Fabulous. And then you mess up your ribbon trying to get it back on. So let's do that now and see if I can. Oh, I can. Right, let's get making. I'm going to need lots of space now. So you need a piece of cardstock that is 12 by 12 inches or 30, uh, 30 by 30 centimetres. So basically a full size sheet of R12 by 12 cardstock. And then you score it on all four sides at three inches, which is seven and a half centimetres. So all the way around. Okay, and you do the lid the same, and I'm going to come back at that because you need on the what is going to be the base, you need to mark it at the six inch mark all the way around, and that's going to be 15 centimeters. So that's why in metric you have to work with 30 by 30 centimeters, not 30 and a half. Well, you could, you could mark it at 15 and a quarter if you really wanted, but so that's little marks. Did I jump that? Oops. There we go. So score it at three, mark it at six. So that's in metric, score it at seven and a half and mark it at 15. And the lid, we're gonna do exactly the same way, except we're not gonna mark it. So score it at three on all four sides. So seven and a half, all four sides. Like I say, if you wanted to make the lid so it too folded flat, you just add in the, the extra stage that I'm gonna do on the base. But that's it, it's so simple. But here's the extra stage. Right, let's my where's my wrong ruler? There it is. So this mark I put in here at the top, I'm going to draw a diagonal line down to this point here, or score a diagonal line, I should say. And do it in both parts. Okay, and do it all the way round. And actually, if you're a bit clever, that one will line up to there, completely bisecting that point. So even less score lines. Perfect. Right, and the final one. There. So that's the shape you're left with. Small part to cut away, but we're going to come to that in a second. So I want to do the burnishing first. So... Like I said, if you wanted to do the lid so it too folded flat, you would put these diagonal lines in. Um, I just don't want to do it on this one, so I'm not going to. Okay, don't worry about the diagonal lines, we're going to come to those in a second. What you need to do is cut the straight to separate it, and then cut roughly a score line from there to, sorry, cut a diagonal line from there to there, but make it a little bit shorter. So it's very slightly less, oops. So obviously that's not a triangle because I've got this extra bit here, but that is so that will fold over and line up perfectly within that triangular shape that I scored. And just do it all the way round. But you need to make sure that the like I say, that the score line that you cut away, the score line, the diagonal line you cut away, 
you make your triangle, the triangular shape, smaller. I do believe my doorbell is going to go any second now. So if it does, bear with me, it's going to pause. I'm back. It was the doorbell, it was an Amazon delivery and a kitten just, oh for goodness sake. Berry, off you go. In fact, say hello, you're very pretty but let's get you off out there. Right, so that's my cutting done. So now I need to do some scoring on the diagonals. So you just fold them in. Don't need to burn. Oof, no, <laughs> she just jumped up the side of me. Don't need to over burnish. I'm just climbing up the back of my chair now. I might need to pause to go and remove her from the room or give her something to play with. So it's a funny old shape that you're getting, but when you fold it all up, that will stick to there, to inside that triangle, and it folds in like that. Now the lid, oh, you want to play with that, don't you? Particularly as you, John, you lot tra <laughs> They trashed the first one, she's walking all over it now. So, this first, the lid, I'm losing my train of thought, here. You want to play? <laughs> you want to play with the bone for? Can't play with it over there. There you go. Right, burnish. And we're not doing this triangular thing, so you literally just need to cut and wedge. <laughs> She's having a good purr. Her mom. Go and play with some. Look, have a bit of paper. Go and play with that. There you go. You have my hand. There you go. There's loads on the floor to Okay, small kitten removed. So cut straight up and just do a bit of a chunky wedge like that. And just keep repeating all the way around. If this kitten comes back on this desk, I'm gonna to have to pause again and remove her. <laughs> so good job both aren't in here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Scissors now. I will be back shortly. Very brief interview while the pair of them decide they want to get on the desk. I will resume this project shortly. They're now both in here. And they're very noisy. This is Berry. No, this is Sorrel. She's very noisy. Right, I'm going to have to lock them out. Okay, take 15 and a half, I reckon. They're now outside the office door. I've closed it. They're probably going to start crying. Where was I? Trimming these parts for the lid. Okay, so this is what you're left with. And these are all going to glue up. Like I say, this won't fold flat. But, you know, if you wanted to, you could. So I find it easier to turn it over and put my adhesive on those parts. Oops. I think I've got a little tear there. That'll have to go around the back. These kittens will be the death of me. But they are lovely. And the boys absolutely adore them. They have got the same amount of energy as the children. It's a good thing for me. They're burning each other's energy off. Okay, so that's the lid done, and essentially we're going to do the same on the base. Actually, I did want to modify this, didn't I? Let's get some little... I'm just going to make little wedges so that it's easier to lift off the lid. Because that was a tight squeeze before. There we go, that'll make it easier to get the lid off. Right, so the base is essentially exactly the same. We're going to stick that. I turned it upside down and inside out so many times I don't know where I'm going. That bit is going to stick to there. So if you fold it out, work on the triangles that are in the corners. Okay, 
and then that will glue. So what you need to do is make sure this loose edge marries up to the inside edge. And keep coming all the way around. Okay, and then it will fold flat, totally flat like that. And it means then you put your goodies inside and I don't think anybody would have goodies exactly that size. Put them in there, lid on, perfect fit. And now with these lids, I can get hold of two of them and take the lid off easier. Right, let's finish this off. So gorgeous. Gorgeous ribbon. Oh, actually, you know what? I was going to use the corduroy ribbon, but I might use my brand new um, Tranquil Tide because it's Tranquil Tide in here. I think so. And we don't want a bow if it's for a chat. Tonight. and then some stamping and on my original one what I did these two because the truly tailored stamp set which is part of the suite comes as a bundle with a new punch which I love but it's quite fun to cut out your own patterns so one of those and I'll flip it over and have that shape. So we'll get those on first. Where's my dimensionals? Over here, so. And then, like I say, I fussy cut the Wishing You a Dapper because I didn't want the moustache on it, but... Hmm... Looking sharp, I think. So, that is this one. Such a new set. Okay, where's a scrap of very vanilla? Uh, I haven't got a scrap, it's going to have to be a big piece. It's okay. And then Night of Navy. I love the colour. And it will punch perfectly. A couple of dimensionals on the back of that. And down here I reckon about there and then buttons again could go on there not really sure I can touch buttons again I'm a weird phobia I have a phobia of buttons in submarines I know random submarine on telly and I freak and I can hear the sound and I run from the room buttons not dissimilar it's when they clack together Oof. anyway I hope you like it if you don't have a phobia of buttons go for it Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and Sorrel and Berry, and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.